Glitter Unicorn. Yes, preach! What do I do if my boyfriend is too clingy? I think that's just love. Like, that's what boyfriends are supposed to do. Males don't mature as fast as ladies do. And they go front right from their mama to a new girlfriend. And that's why they're so clingy. Tell them to back off. Get rid of them. No one wants a clingy boyfriend. Find another boyfriend. <laughs> You know, have one, two, or three. I think if your boyfriend really is too clingy, you should kind of cool it with him. Uh, that could lead to a lot of problems. Have some alone time, like have him hang out with his friends and you hang out with your friends. Whatever you want to not hang out with him, say like, hey, sorry, I'm having a girls' night with my bestie and it's only girls, it's like our thing. You need to let him know where your space is. Talk to him about it because like, in a relationship, you should be able to talk to each other. Maybe that's something you need to bring up with your boyfriend, talk about it, see what, if you guys want the same thing out of the relationship. You want a boyfriend and you're like, yes, this is so cool, like, I finally have one and it's like, whoa, like, dude, get away from me. I don't need you in my life every single second of the day. Tell him to back off. You know, don't be too harsh about it, but you know, boys are sensitive. 10 out of 10 asks, is moving next door to a fraternity or sorority house a good idea? Oh no, not a good idea. You do not move there, stay away. Probably not. Sororities and fraternities are usually pretty much party animals. No. You should get your rest so you could go to college and be successful. Do you like not sleeping? Because that's probably gonna, <laughs> gonna happen pretty often. Unless you want to have like a TV thrown in your window or a bunch of drunk people banging on your door late at night. I wouldn't recommend it. If you like a lot of noise and a lot of rowdy behavior and a lot of drinking and urinating happening on your property, it's fine. If you're okay with like really loud music and drunk people next to you, during the late hours, then yeah, I guess. Yes, I think it's a good idea. You'll be having fun all, all the time. Do you like conversations? Then you bet you should. I think so. I mean, I've been to my sister's sorority house and it's been a lot of fun. I mean, you know, free food. Ian Gilmore says, How do I tie a bow tie? Go on YouTube, type in how to tie a bow tie. People. Ask Google. Ask your girlfriend. Buy one of them that are already tied for you. <laughs> you do what I do and buy the fake ones that have the clip around because I can't either. You get a, a, a ready-made bow tie that you clip from the back and here you go, you're good to go. Just like you tie your shoes. You know, I tie my shoes in a bow tie. You should go to like an adult who has a lot of bow ties. You know how to tie a bow tie. It's pretty common sense. Go to a tie shop, especially one that specializes in bow ties. It's a real art. I solved that problem many, many years ago, whether it's a bow tie or a regular tie. Look, I don't wear a tie. I have absolutely no idea. And most men have no idea how to tie a bow tie. Actually, some of the wives might be better at it. Chick Koala Care 3 asks, How do you deal with life when you're sensitive and an overthinker? Um, that is a really good question. Meditation helps a lot, trust me. Meditating. It will relieve all, like, not all of it, but most of your stress. Don't worry too much about things. It's gonna work out no matter what you do. It'll, it'll always work out. Talk to yourself. No, I'm not gonna be a sensitive person. I'm not gonna overthink that. Try to think outside the box and be like, okay, I'm leaving the sensitive person behind. Act a little bit more on the spur of the moment so you don't, you don't worry too much about what decision you make. If it's something that's really bogging you down, maybe talk to somebody. There's a lot of people out there who be more than willing to listen. Okay, that's literally me. Think of something really happy or listen to your favorite music or watch your favorite TV show. As an overthinker myself, you just gotta stop and calm down a little bit. Some things aren't as important as you think and you have to just process them. Take it step by step. Take a deep breath, you're gonna be okay. Angry birdie ass! They keep making movies out of my favorite game. How can I stop being bitter about it and learn to accept the new adaptations? Dang man, I feel the same way. I'm pretty sure your name is referring to that new movie, Angry Birds. If you don't like it, don't watch Watch it. You don't have to watch the movie, just play the game. If you don't like the movies, you just don't watch it. It's not a big of a deal. Just play the games, man. Like, there's no, I mean, life's too short to be bitter about stuff like that. Do something that, um, that channels your, your anger issues and, and just relax about it. You don't have any control over it. If you're worried about it, concerned about it, you better get in the biz. Make a few changes yourself. That's pretty cool. I mean, you get to see a live action movie of how your game would be. If it's your favorite game, why are you mad? You gotta learn to accept it. You can still play the game and still watch the movie. I mean, they're gonna be different. Say, I, it, I'm not gonna let it bother me. You can change you, 
but you can't change this. The industry will keep making your favorite things, but you just have to learn to live with it because you probably will like these new movies if you just think of it in a new light. Think about it as your franchise is growing. That's a good thing, and you should be happy, Birdie. Thanks for watching another episode of Advice. Don't miss out. Subscribe. We love answering your questions, so keep them coming. Goodbye. Bye. I'm going to go learn how to tie a bow tie. <laughs>